Good morning, everybody. Today we're making a flour, or a bread bowls or bread in a crock pot. Basically, I got my yeast, and I'm proofing the yeast right now. But we got some uh, regular all-purpose flour and stuff. So I'll, I'll post the recipe below. But just simple bread. We're gonna cook in a crock pot. <clears throat> I need some bread bowls for dinner tonight because I'm gonna make a. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some Denny Moore stew and put it in a bread bowl. And tell the wife I made it from scratch, but you shouldn't judge me. Because this woman, when we were dating, she would stop by the gas stations and pick up Toll House cookies and then put them in a microwave and a little plate at the at the uh, gas station and heat them up. And then she would bring them over and tell me they were freshly made cookies and I fell for it for years. So, I'm going to tell her I made my homemade stew, but I'm going to put any more, any more stew in these. But let's go ahead and make some bread in a, in a slow cooker or crock pot. So that's what this is about. Alright. I'll be back once I get the dough made and all the yeast is proof and stuff. And I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my dough ready to go. So let's just put, it's going to take the crock pot and we're going to set it on high. But let me go ahead and put that in there first. I've got the bread or the dough on parchment paper. And we're just going to set it in there. Just like that. No biggie. Make sure it's all on the bottom. And then we're just going to put the lid on. Just like that. And we're going to set it to high. For two hours. And check it. Now like I said. This probably won't brown the top of it. But depending on you, whatever you want to do. You know. But <coughs> I'll probably put it under the broiler for three to five minutes afterwards. But we'll see where it is in two hours. And we'll check it there. And we'll just set it and forget it. I'll be right back. I'll be back in two hours, actually. Yeah. Uh, one quick, quick note here. Um, you don't need to let this rise or anything. You just make your dough and put it in there. Uh, all the rising and stuff is done in the crock pot. So you don't have to do anything. Just make your dough and put it in. You don't let it rise or wait or any of that stuff. So it's about the same time. The reason I'm doing this over the oven is it's winter now, but during the summertime, I don't feel like heating the whole house up if I have to make a bread bowl or something, so. And, you know, your size of your bread is limited to the size of your crock pot, you know. This is, this is a, I guess this is a medium one, so. Medium bowl. And we'll fill that up with any more stew and she'll think I'm a hero. Alright, I'll be right back. As you can see, it's it's rising pretty good right now. It's on, we're about, I don't know, about maybe half hour, hour into it maybe, so. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, it's been two hours and twenty minutes. It's done. You hear that hard that is? But it's very soft on the top. In the bottom, well, let me um I mean this comes out pretty easy. Let me turn this off, it's very hot. Okay. So we can see. It's in there, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven a little bit, and the broiler, and go ahead and brown the top of it. Um, it's pretty hard there. Oh, dang, it's hot. Ouch. So, let me go ahead and do that. I'll peel the paper off. It looks like it's stuck a little bit to the paper. I'll have to trim that off. Hit a few points and it's sticky. Mm. So... Let me go ahead and do that. Make it bake a little bit to the paper. Let me burn myself real quick for you guys. See, I'm suffering for you. That paper is stuck a little bit. That's, like I said, that's not very hard. So, you could leave it like that if you wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and brown it a little bit. On the sides is good. Yeah! Dang it, that's hot. Alright, so let me brown this and I'll be right back. But you don't have to, but like I said, I want to. So I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alright, here it is. I had it in the oven on broil for about oh, five minutes. First three minutes and two other minutes. It's browned on top. And the wife brought home Chinese food. Surprise. So I guess we're going to have that. So I'll go ahead and cut this up and... Sorry, it's my logo. Well, go ahead and cut this up and um, 
slice it up and show you how it looks and have some butter on it and then we'll have our Chinese food and save this for breakfast tomorrow I guess. Alright, I'll be right back when I cut it. Alright, so we're going to cut this and see how it comes out and if it comes out good, we'll do sriracha bread next time. Looks good to me. We could have chosen a better knife. Let me see. Alright, let me cut another piece. Let me cut a small piece. So as you can see, that's all the way cooked all the way in there. And as you can see, it's still way too hot. And the bottom may be a little bit overcooked, but I don't care about that. So let me get some butter on this and give this a try here, and I'll be right back. Okay, got some butter on it. Here, you can have the smaller piece. Okay. Hot. But yeah, I'm going to have to, if this turns out good, we're going to have to put it with um, jalapenos and cheese and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. That, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's very good. I was originally going to make a bread bowl out of this. So, that would have worked fine for a bread bowl. But like I said, since she brought home dinner, I'm not going to do that. But, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go, you can make bread in a crock pot. It actually kind of takes less time than the oven because all the rising is done in the crock pot while it's running. So it took 2 hours and 20 minutes for this crock pot. Um, check your individual crock pots before you do this. Some require liquid in there before or it'll, it can crack. Uh, but you can see the sides got done on this as well. So it worked out well. And like I said, it didn't heat up the whole house like the oven would have. I mean, it started to get hot in here when I, when I browned the top, but you didn't need to do that. That was just a personal preference, so. There you go. This is North Carolina Prepper. So, please rate, subscribe, and have a great day. And make bread. Any type of bread you want should work in here. As far as, you know, just, just figure out the times for your crock pot. You'll have to experiment. But I liked it. It was very good. So, please rate, subscribe, and have a good day. Thanks.